Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to you to the new tutorial of Devotional Study. Today we'll be learning more about marquee tag and I'll show you a new tag that is called div division tag which is the most important tag I would say. So let's get started. Hello friends, uh, so today what the tag which we will be learning that will be marquee tag, we'll start with marquee tag and later on we'll, I'll show you uh, a new tag, it's not a new tag but yeah it's the most important tag that should be division tag, right? So let's start with marquee tag first. So what is marquee tag? Marquee HTML tag is a non-standard HTML tag, I would say, which is used to scroll images or text horizontally or vertically within the code, right, within the document. And horizontally and vertically, that is, uh, which will go up and down, left and right, okay? And we can move text, images, a lot of things, right? So in simple words, you can say, uh, in scroll, it's scroll the images or text up or down, right? So, marquee tag was first introduced in the early version of uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer. That is the very oldest tag, I would say. It is uh, basically a very old tag, and the tag syntax would be it'll start with a marquee tag and end up with a marquee tag, the closing and the opening tag I would say so let's start with the coding right I would uh, prefer coding uh, the most rather than explaining about the theory right so I would uh, go and create the and save this page first let's save this code okay all right I'll save it let me close this section okay let's leave for for if let's go ahead and save it HTML I would say tag.html. All right, I will save it as tag.html. So let's close this first. Okay, so let's start with HTML, right? I uh, will come in the body section and I will start with a marquee tag. So I will show you how can we move a tag basically, right? There will be a lot of uh, attributes we'll be learning today about the marquee. So first starts with marquee, right? M, it should be M A R Q U E E. Right, I will close it. Oh, sorry for that. Okay, so let's uh, let's enter any text here. Okay, I'll I'll enter. This is moving text. Okay, so I'll just put this sentence here in this tag. All right. And let's first, I will, uh, I mean, we'll be experimenting with attributes within the marquee tag so that I will show you how this tag basically works. So the first attribute today we'll be using that will be scroll marquee. All right. It is a by default property of a marquee tag. First of all, it is used to scroll the text from right to left. Okay. From right to left. And restarts at the right side of the marquee when it is reached to the end of the left side all right so it'll be like a loop okay so before i would say anything i should show you so i'll give up width of 100 that is an attribute as well okay i will get a hundred percent that means i'll show you what this attribute will do okay so the attribute scroll will be using with marquee which it'll consist by or it'll be used by behavior attribute what should be the behavior of the marquee tag okay and that should be scroll we'll be using scroll behavior we'll be having different behaviors of this marquee tag so first i would uh, i would use uh, scroll and we'll give a bg color so that It'll be easier for you to understand this is a moving text. Okay, so I'll give uh, red. All right, because that is the most uh, frequent color. Okay, I'll save this code and I'll go to the directory and I'll run the code. So let's find the code. This is our code. Let's run it. Okay, as you can see, the background is uh, this red color, right? The text we are using is 
this is the moving text and as I told you it is by default property it is use the scroll text from right to left which is it's doing and now the second thing is it restarts again at the right side of the marquee when it's it is reached to the end of the left side you have already seen that right after completion the loop text disappears it disappears see it is getting disappeared and again the loop is getting started from the right hand side so that is the basic property of a marquee tag and what is 100 percent let me show you here let me go ahead and change it to 50 percent you will see the the width i mean the background color it is consisted i mean it is taking 100 percent width so what i'll do i'll go ahead and again i'll refresh the code as i've changed the width to 50 percent now you can see it is starting we are using 50 percent width of the complete page that is the reason it's getting started from only the 15 per 50 percent of the page right that is the first property let's go to the second property of uh, the marquee tag that is the second behavior i would say and that will be slide behavior okay i will change this to slide all right what this behavior will do in slide marquee all the contents to be scrolled will slide entire length of the marquee but stops at the end to display the content permanently i guess it's very tricky let's check with example so what i did i just changed the behavior from scroll to slide so let's reload the page okay so again it's doing the same thing nothing has changed but one thing will get changed this this the text is getting it's getting stopped by the end or at the end of the the i mean at the end of the page on the left hand side right permanently uh, the loop there is no loop now okay in a better way so if we'll change to 100 percent it will work in the same manner the difference will become i mean the, the difference would be only in the width of the page right you have seen it so once the text will reach out to the left hand side of the page the text will get stopped permanently all right that is the difference let's see here exactly it just did the same thing right so this is the second behavior of the marquee tag let's move on to the next attribute i would say right the alternate marquee so what the alternate marquee did it, it does is uh first i'll just change it to alternate so all we need to do we need to just change the behavior first was scroll then we move to then we move to a uh, uh, slide i would say and the, se the third one would be alternate so this will what it will do is the next really apologize this always comes up so yeah so this it scroll the text it scrolls the text from right to left and goes back to i mean it will do this in a different way uh, right to left and then back left to right okay let's reload the page and see what is happening here so the text is moving from right to left it is moving now right okay let's see what it will do and uh, now as you can see it's going back to right so this is the alternate behavior of a marquee tag we are moving we are making this text to move left to right and right to left okay the by default property will be right to left okay so let's uh, move on to the next behavior i would say that will uh, we let's change the direction right now the direction is from the from right to left let's change the direction to to right i mean it will go from left to right so, so that we'll use a direction attribute okay this time we'll change right let's i have saved it let's reload it this time as you can see it's moving from left to right and we are using the behavior the previous behavior that was that was alternate so it'll come back again from right to left okay we can even use uh, left right up and down different different behavior depends on the height and width of the page 
if the height is less right now there is no height right but the width is there so depends on the width and the height of the page as well all right so let's move on to okay this sh i would say this should be it for the marquee tag because uh, uh these are the basic or most important uh, attribute we have used right and uh, this should be it for the marquee tag we'll move on to the next tag that will be division tag that i'll show you in the next tutorial because i would say first you need to focus on the marquee tag and there are differences and there are dis disadvantages of marquee tag because we don't use it nowadays because it's very distracting i would say uh, because human eyes are attracted towards the movement right and the marquee tags constantly so i would say do not use this kind of uh, uh, text it's very outdated we don't use it now we have different features available in uh, by using those technologies so it's non standard element first of all it it moves and is it it's so difficult to click static text depending on the scrolling speed right so i would say do not use it it's not very popular now it's very outdated so i would say avoid this tag but yes it's it, it uh, this tag is very important to be known right so for for today we have uh, this much of uh, the content i will see you in the next tutorial we'll be learning about division tag and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial okay guys so keep watching and if you have liked this video please hit the like button share the video and subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next tutorial guys bye bye have a nice day and keep coding